Revolutionary U.S. Forest Service. So Andy also, um, I believe he has some background. Some of his roots are in North Carolina uh, with North Carolina Forest Service, and he's been with the Forest Service for quite some time. And we're happy to have him not only as one of the assistant directors for fire and aviation, but here at our conference today. Thanks, Andy. You bet. Thanks for having me. We, um, would you like me to share my screen for this PowerPoint or? Sure, if you want to, and if it, if there's a glitch, I, I have it ready to go as well. All right, so I have the uh, genuine privilege of sharing this year's um, Robert E. Browning Jr. Award. Just going to provide a little background before we do the announcement. So EJ, does everything look and sound okay so far? Yeah, we can see it. Um, we're seeing the, the overall PowerPoint, not the slideshow itself. Yeah, there you go, right there. That's perfect. All right. So yeah, just for those that weren't aware, this, this Region 8 uh, Southern Region of the Forest Service Fire Prevention Award began in 1990 to recognize outstanding achievement and accomplishment in wildland fire prevention in the Southern area. Uh, the figurine you've seen here, known as the Clyde, was created by James Sorensen, a Forest Service retiree in Knoxville, Tennessee, out of ground pecan shells and resin mounted on a walnut base. So that's pretty cool legacy. In 1994, following the landmark tragedy at South Canyon Fire, Lewis Kearney lobbied to change the name of the award to memorialize the loss of one of our own, Robert E. Browning Jr., a firefighter from Region 8. Savannah River unit in South Carolina. Robert was on a four month hell attack detail in Grand Junction, Colorado, responded to the Storm King Mountain and ended up losing his life in that effort. So in that, uh, that change did occur. As you know, in the Robert E. Browning Award was designed in 2014. A new award was designed in 2014 on the 20th anniversary of the South Canyon fire. Um, and it and it depicts a, a firefighter leaving Region 8, headed out west. Um, the award was designed by Golden Smokey Award winner Gwen Hensley um, and crafted in Virginia. And so each year, states and national forests in the southern area have the opportunity to nominate individuals or groups for this award that has, as you can tell, quite the legacy. So this year's award, the nomin or excuse me, 2022, the nomination for the 2022 award highlights really it's uh, in a sense, in this case, a lifetime of service, dedicated service to educating the public, fire safety, fire prevention, and the history of the iconic Smoky Bear. The award recipients have ignored, have organized multiple celebra celebration events on Smokey's birthday, and they've inspired countless forest visitors with hand-on demonstrations at many various events over the years. The recipients have shared their passion for fire prevention and education, not just locally on the forest in North Carolina, but also nationwide. In 2022, they served on numerous fire assignments as public information officer and fire prevention team members across the nation. So, with no further ado, this year's awards winners were nominated by Jeff Owenby and the National Forest of North Carolina. There are two Browning Award winners for this, this year. And as we mentioned, their efforts are really spanning a lifetime, decades. So, congratulations on behalf of the Regional Forester, Ken Arney, and Fire Director in Southern Region, Chardot Laval. I'd like to congratulate Bob and Judy Bean Blossom for the 2022 Robert E. Browning Jr. Award. They volunteer at the Cradle of Forestry. Their um, um, emergency fire, fire staff with the National Forest of North Carolina. And as we mentioned, they're also National Fire Prevention Education team members. So Bob and Judy, congratulations. Jim? Yeah, and I believe we have um, our friends in North Carolina have set up um, an opportunity to share their screen. Come on camera. Okay. 
Okay. I would well, turn it over you. to the North Carolina folks if you want to say some, say, add um, additional information. Well, thanks, Andy, and, and I really do appreciate this. And I want to make sure those of you that have had the opportunity to work with Robert and Judy over the years have, have been in the midst of true ambassadors for fire prevention. They work in a tremendous amount of different capacities and information. Fire prevention is a passion for both of them and, and just being around them wherever they go, they wind up talking about how to properly manage the forest, what the importance of fire is and how individuals around the country can do their part to help in fire prevention. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pass these awards to Judy Bean Blossom and Yay. Robert Bean Blossom. Thank you. In addition, we do have for them as well the uh, letter from our regional forester in appreciation of what they've done in 2022 and quite honestly, a career of fire prevention work throughout the country. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Case. Thank you, Case. Yeah, I'd just like to just say a quick word. Uh, I've, uh, as the FMO, the new FMO here on the district, I just feel so blessed to have these guys. Uh, I've, I've never not called uh, Bob here where he is not answered immediately. Um, I don't have anybody else on the district I can say that about. So I just really appreciate all y'all done for our fire program here. Glad to have you. Thank you. It, it's been a pleasure. Really, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to work with such great team. <laughs> and there's a lot of uh, team leaders out there listening to, and, and they've all been great to work with. They know who they are, but thank you all so much. So to team leaders, you know my sense of humor, and you know that uh, I will tell anyone that Robert has done this for many years. I started, uh, this is my fifth, uh, uh, was my fifth uh, summit, and this year he got an award with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll open the floor. I know I think we may have a couple other folks from North Carolina. If you would like to take this opportunity, you're welcome to. Okay. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, thank you, Bean Blossoms. Um, thank you, Andy, for coming on to present the award. And um, thank you, Jeff for recognizing and the National Forest in North Carolina um, uh, group nomination for these two. Appreciate that. And I'll turn it back over to Robin. Thank you. Thanks, EJ. Yeah, that was that was wonderful. I really enjoyed that. We uh, we just uh, did the P310 in um, Tennessee back in January and Bob and Judy came over and assisted us with that class so we were very very fortunate to get them over and, and do that so great great uh great award and great great for prevention to to get that as well okay we're on the downhill stretch we have the last presentation right before lunch and i apologize to those of you on eastern time i know it's way past your lunch but uh bear with us just for a few few minutes longer and we'll get you there. So I am going to go ahead and turn it over now to Gary Wood again. Uh, and Gary's going to do a wrap up and a little bit of a summary. And then I'll be back to kind of close things out and uh, provide some some additional information for you. So Gary, go ahead and take it away. OK, thank you, Robin. Can you hear me OK this morning, this afternoon? Yes, sure can. Okay. Well, uh, I've learned a lot this week. Uh, I learned first and foremost early on that I still have a dislike for teams uh, since it gave me a fit trying to uh, do my presentation the other day after it worked when we tested it. But uh, I'm not going to bore you today with a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, 
I was asked to come in and, and kind of wrap up uh, the event and rehash kind of what has, has gone on here and to pull out some key things that I observed uh, as I sat back and enjoyed the presentations this week. Uh, first and foremost, I, I want to thank the committee that put 